It is a sunny day in Toyland, and Noddy is at home reading his favourite book. And so the brave sailor left the dock once more and was off on another exciting adventure. What an exciting life that sailor has, always moving to new places. Yes, it sounds like fun. Have you ever thought of moving somewhere else, Noddy? I don't want to leave Toyland, Master Tubby Bear. I'm happy living here. I don't mean leave Toyland. I mean move somewhere else in Toyland. Why would I want to do that? Well, you can move by the farm and have fresh milk all day. Or move to the airport and fly your plane more often. Or how about in town, right near the ice cream shop? Hmm. You're right, Tubby. Living here means I'm too far away from all the fun things. I'm going to find a better place to live. Do you want to help me, Tubby Bear? Yes, I do. When do we start? Right now. Come on, it's moving day for Noddy. Oh, hello, Noddy. Hello, Master Tubby Bear. Where are you going? Noddy is moving to a new place. What? You're moving? When did you pack everything in your house for one? I didn't pack. See? <gasps> I'm taking the whole house. I'm moving it to the perfect place. And I'm helping. I see. But I thought you were happy where you are. I was happy, but I'll be even happier living somewhere else. Bye, Big Ears! Happier, eh? We'll see, little Noddy. We'll see. Life will improve. Moving is fun. I'll find a spot meant to be mine. I'll smile a lot. Moving is fine. I'm so glad that we're going to be neighbours, Noddy. So am I, Tessie Bear. I've never lived on this side of Toy Town. And it's the perfect place for my little house for one. We'll have so much fun working in the garden and having tea every day and feeding the chickens and... Hmm. What's wrong, Tessie Bear? My chickens were just here, but I don't see them anymore. Where could they be? I know where they are. Where? There. <laughs> Why are these chickens inside my house? They're pecking and scratching everything. <laughs> you parked your house on their favourite eating spot. What am I going to do, Tessie? Throw them some corn. They're probably hungry. That's not what I meant. I mean, I can't live with chickens. <coughs> See? I'm sorry, Tessie, but I can't be your neighbour anymore. I'm going to have to move again. Wow, Noddy. I'll bet Mr Sparks will be surprised when he sees you're his new neighbour. Mr Sparks is good at fixing my car. Now I'll be nice and close when I need his help. What is that? That must be Mr Sparks working in his garage. I know Mr Sparks works with machinery. But I didn't think it would be that loud. It was a lot quieter where I used to live. Naughty! 
Noddy, is that you? Coming, Mr. Sparks. Noddy, what is your house doing in front of my garage? I've just moved here, Mr. Sparks. We're neighbours. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to move again, Noddy. Why? I thought you'd like having me as your neighbour. I would, Noddy, but your house is in the way, and I cannot get my tow truck out of my garage. Whoops! Sorry, Mr. Sparks. We'll move it right away. Let's go, Tubby Bear. I like living in the town square, Tubby. Every time I look out of the window, I can see one of my friends. Hello, Mr. Jumbo. You're the first one to visit me since I moved to this new place. Oh, I'm not here to visit, Noddy. I'm here to have a picnic. In my house? Well, I suppose so. I have a picnic on this exact spot every afternoon. But now your house is in the way. So I think I'll have to sit here on your floor. Oh, well, all right. I suppose so. What is that? Watch out, Tubby! Why are all these balls bouncing around my house? They're practicing. Practicing what? Bouncing, of course. They do this every day in the town square. But I live here now. That's all right. They won't let that stop them. Move in the name of Plod. What's wrong, Mr. Plod? You heard me, Noddy. You have to move your house immediately. But why? The town square is for picnicking and playing and bouncing and special events, and you're in the way. Are you sure Noddy can't stay? I'm sorry, but this is a no house parking zone. That's all right, Mr. Plod. I wouldn't mind living somewhere that's a little less crowded. Hello. <laughs> Well, I see that you two are still busy moving. All day long, Big Ears. First next door to Tessie Bear, then Mr. Sparks, then into the town square. But there were too many chickens and bouncing balls and honking horns. We're all worn out with moving, aren't we, Car? Burp, burp. I'll just have to keep driving around until I find the perfect place to live. Hmm. Well, I know of a place that I'm sure you'll like. Really? What's it like? Let's see. It's a quiet place. No bouncing balls, no tow trucks, and no chickens. Sounds great. And there's a funny neighbour about your age, Noddy. Really? And when the sun comes up, it will shine through the same window it did before. It sounds perfect. Where is it, Big Ears? Where, where, where? Follow me. I'll show you. You are right, Big Ears. This is exactly where I want to live. But Noddy, this is the same place where you've always lived. Not always, Tubby. Noddy moved away for a while. Yes, that's how I found that this is the perfect place for my home. Hey, Noddy, that was fun. Maybe you can move again tomorrow, and it'll be even more perfect. <laughs> Silly little bear. <laughs> <laughs> Funny little Noddy! <laughs>